Secondly, here is my website as if looking, sorry, my LinkedIn, as if looking at it as a person is not logged in as me. So I follow the same basic principles as I talked about before, where I have a, a back banner image and a, and a personal image that are clean and professional. I have a job title that is relevant for the job that I want. In this particular phase of my career, it happens to match what I'm currently doing. But sometimes I, I do it opposite. I, I put, in this case, Web3, which is kind of was a new thing for me a couple of years. I put that in my present profile, manifesting what I want to create in the future. So people landing here, they immediately get that that is what they're here to hire me to do. So I'd recommend doing that as well. Um, as I mentioned before, with the template experience, I have my own website. And then down here in my experiences, you know, one of them is me being what I want to do at my own website, right? So even as someone 23, four years into my career, I continue to do that. And if you're a contractor, it's especially relevant. But even at the beginning of your career, if you're looking for full-time employment, I'd still recommend it. Um, you can take a look at this. I'll include the link for it as well. Things that I wish I could control here, I'm quite active um, by posting around the, you know, the feed of LinkedIn. I wish that those activities did not show up here. And as far as I can tell, I cannot control that. And then also this featured section that I have to be able to control. I'll double check that, but I don't like how that's laid out. I would really like it to jump right to the experience here. Uh, let me see if there's anything else I wanted to mention. Uh, I've really put time and energy as well into getting professional recommendations. So when I'm on a project and nearing the end, uh, as a contractor, I probably have three to five clients a year. I make a point to tell people upfront that I'm looking to earn their recommendation. And then I follow through on that. And it's something that's important to me. It's also a really nice device to engage with your coworkers in general is to reach out and ask for them, you know, hey, while we're working together at some point, you know, I'm going to uh, ask for, for recommendation from you. Are you comfortable with that? And the, the status that I follow is if they say that's cool, I say, hey, I'll, I'll shoot you a little paragraph through LinkedIn. And if you think it's cool, modify it however you want. That way you can say, you know, kind of which areas of your relationship you want to focus on. Like, oh, uh, you know, we work together in this capacity and you know, we communicated well, and then they can update it however they want. So I've done that uh, quite actively. And then I've also done a lot of publications and projects kind of outside of my main projects for, um, you know, paid work. But I'd say the majority of game developers are going to have the experiences is going to be the bulk of where this page gets filled out. And that's cool. So thanks. I will share the link to this.